Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we are going to be doing new makeup releases. This is a series I do here on my channel where I talk about all the new makeup that is being sneak peeked, launched, released, etc. I give you my thoughts, and of course I wanna hear your thoughts down below in the comments. I am gonna link everything I can down below in the description box, including release date information, pricing information, the Instagram accounts I pull from. It's all down in the description box. Everything that is on my face will be in a pinned comment, and let's do it. So if you are new here, I don't talk about every single new makeup release. I really curate it down to the things that I think are interesting or I have any sort of opinion on because a lot of the stuff that comes out on the market, I really don't have an opinion on. And I'll be honest with you, this week there's really not that many things to talk about, which is fine. Listen, I'm okay with it because my wallet needs a break, although I did buy, I did buy something. Well, let's just start off with what I bought. So I bought the new Natasha Denona Roxa palette. This is the newest palette to her line and it is a purple palette. Listen, I love purples, okay? I love purples. It is one of my favorite colors to wear if I'm not wearing neutrals. I love purples and greens. Those are my two favorite colors and I really love the Natasha Denona quality. So I'm very excited to test this one out. Of course, I will be using it on the channel. I'm probably going to include it either in like a testing new makeup video or in a three palettes, three looks video, something like that. But honestly, this looks gorgeous. It looks like there are some warmer leaning purples, some cooler leaning purples. There is a peach, there's a red, and there is a marbled shade, which I'll be honest with you, I'm not usually the biggest fan of marbled shades, but listen, she's gotta try to do something different. I appreciate it. So this is what the blurb on Instagram says. It is her holiday launch, it is limited edition. I'm so excited to reveal this bold 15 shade midi palette featuring the richest, most vibrant purple, violet, and fuchsia hues. Fun fact, it was inspired by my award-winning and classic Leela eyeshadow palette, which I don't have. Showcasing an array of color shifting sparkling metallics, the beloved wet effect eyeshadow in a new pink shade. I do love the wet effect eyeshadows. Debuting one graphic design shade assembled with new filling technology for a customizable duochrome. Interesting. And also featuring my newest innovation, the impeccably blendable silky matte formula with an extremely velvety ultra soft texture. So this palette will retail for $69, which is her typical midi palette price. It is currently available now on uh, Sephora, the Natasha Denona website and Ulta, I believe. I will link it down below wherever I can find it. And if you do shop at Natasha Denona, you can use the code Rachel to save 15% off. So it's a little extra. I think that it is only a one-time code. So like if you've used my code in the past, you can't use it again. If I'm not mistaken, of course, try it if you want to, but I did buy this. I did buy this. I actually bought it on Sephora because it's my birthday month and I wanted my birthday gift. So tell me how I bought the Natasha Denona palette a lip mask from Fenty Beauty, and a mini Natasha Denona airbrush flawless finish, and it cost me $120. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I will use it here on the channel when I get it. I would love to know your thoughts. Are you planning on picking it up? Are you gonna skip? Let me know. I would really love to know. So Wicked Widow Beauty has finally shown a picture of the entire collection of the Tales of Terror A Haunting. This is available for pre-order now by the time this video is going live. It did go for pre-order on Friday, October 18th. I do have an affiliate code with Wicked Widow Beauty. It's Rachel. I'm pretty sure it will be valid on this. So it says, why pre-order? Unfortunately, some products have been stuck in customs, which is out of our control. No need to worry. It's always spooky season for Wicked Widow. I'm so very sorry to let everyone down. PR will be sent with orders. So I'm not sure if I'm getting this in PR. I think I'm gonna wait to see, but I really, really love the look of the palette. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. A little more grungy and a couple of pops of color. We did talk about the palette, but the one thing that wasn't revealed at the time was the highlighter. And if I zoom in, the highlighter is called the Jack-O-Lantern highlighter and it has like a gold tint to it. So yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'll kind of wait and see, but there is pricing information now for everything. The palette is $58. The cream blush is $18. The highlight is $18. The lipsticks are 16 each and the collector's box is $165. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I get this in PR. If I don't, maybe I'll pick up the palette. I'm not sure. It depends on the timing. Like if it's two months from now, I don't know how, you know, how much 
people will be interested, but would love to know if you're interested in this. I love the packaging. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Like everything looks gorgeous. I think this is the most appealing collection to me that they've done. Really nice. So Glamlight is sneak peeking another horror collection and this is with Trick or Treat. Now I'll be honest with you, I watched Trick or Treat for the first time a couple of weeks ago and I, I think I shut it off like three quarters of the way through. It was cringy. <laughs> um, don't come at me if you like the movie. Listen, I like a lot of cringy movies and I like a lot of movies that people watch now and they're like, why do you like this movie? And for me, a lot of it is nostalgia. So I think I think the appeal to this, a lot of it is nostalgia. I, I just didn't, I didn't like the movie at all. So all that to say, <laughs> the actual like IP doesn't really appeal to me, but I'm always interested in their horror collections. I'm always keeping my eye out, seeing if there's color stories that I enjoy, that they come out with. The only thing that they have now shown at the moment of filming is the mirror. So it says, his night, his rules. Sam's mirror features the infamous lollipop, Embrace the eerie charm of Sam and keep the spirit of trick or treat alive. So um, again, if they show anything else by the time I'm editing this, I will pop it up on the screen, but it's coming soon, I guess. I'm um, not really sure what else they'll have. They haven't really shown anything, but yeah, definitely interested to see what other products are in this collection. I don't think I'm gonna pick up the, the mirror. Patrick Ta is releasing eyeshadow duos. So this is his holiday launch 2024. And the only thing I'm seeing right here is from Hot Fire Makeup. And it is like a screen grab of somebody swatching them. So it's not like an official picture. It's not uh, an official announcement. There is no information online about like pricing or anything, but they look absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I will pick up one of these just for science. Like I, I wanna try them. I'm not really a singles or a duo person, especially if it's two shimmers, but these look absolutely gorgeous. Definitely interested to see what the price point is going to be. I mean, it's Patrick Ta, so we can expect it to be uh, pretty expensive, but I'm interested. I'm interested. What about you? Do these appeal to you? Is this something that you might want to pick up? They look very, very pretty. Very much looking forward to it. I will keep you posted in future episodes when we find out more information. So something I wanted to mention, although I don't really know much about the collaborator, this is the Fenty Beauty and Arcane Netflix collection. So I did Google it. Arcane is a TV show based off of the game League of Legends. Uh, I've never seen it. I've never played League of Legends. I know my friend Aniela Kanikvist loves League of Legends, so I'm sure she's very excited about this collection. But there are quite a few things in the collection. There are five different gloss bombs. Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Veil for $42. We have Chrome Catcher Shade Shifting Gel Eyeliner for $24. There's a highlighter palette for $45. There's a volumizing mascara for $19. Shimmer Liquid Eyeliner for $24. And the Legends Vault, which is everything for $250. Um, yeah, these seem like existing products that they've already had on their line, maybe different shades or whatever, but of course like themed packaging, which again, I don't know anything about the collaborator. So like the collaboration aspect is not really calling to me. And I do have most of these products from Fenty Beauty. So I think I'm all set, but wanted to let you know about it just in case you are a fan of the show or the game. It is going to launch on November 2nd on their website and retailers. Okay. Lay down. Please lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. You're so adorable. I do have to show you guys my cat Ringo. Every time I film, oh, now he's, now he's grooming himself. So we'll, we'll give him a minute. One eternity later. Every time I film, he has to be laying on my desk and he's massive. It, this isn't really showing the full picture, but like he is giant. He takes up the entire, the entire desk. So yeah, he has to be the center of attention when I'm filming. Like he wants to be helping out behind the scenes. He doesn't want to be on camera, but he wants to be helping out. Anyway, back to the new makeup releases. A couple more things I wanted to mention. Oh, something we talked about last week, but we didn't have the full collection reveal at the time, but I definitely want to mention it, is the new launch from Fantasy Cosmetica. This is the Harvest of Souls collection, and I have already uploaded a two looks video using the palette so I will link my video down below if you're interested in checking it out. It has already launched by the time you are seeing this. So the Harvest of Souls palette retails for $55 and it is 16 pan palette, which is the biggest palette that they've done thus far. There are two candles that come with this collection and they smell divine. The candles retail for $30 each, or you can buy both candles for $58, or you can buy the full collection bundle and free US shipping for $110. 
You can use my affiliate code Rachel to save if you would like to. The palette is absolutely gorgeous, really pretty. We have grungy greens, we have blues, we have some purples as well. And Fantasy Cosmetica quality is really good. The mattes are really pigmented. Their shimmers are very, very shiny, impactful, absolutely gorgeous. So really recommend this palette if this is a color story that appeals to you. Definitely go check out my video so you can see a little bit more information, but wanted to let you know about it and let you know that it is available now. I will link it down below. Pro Fusion has released their holiday collection and this is in collaboration with Peanuts, which is a classic holiday theme. This is a very large collection, which is normal for Pro Fusion. Let me quickly go through everything. So we have the holiday 41 shade eye, eye and face palette for $25, 41 shades. That's insanity. And it basically to me looks like a rainbow palette. So I'm not interested. And it has a bunch of like bronzers, blushes, highlighters, etc. Advent calendar for $25, pressed highlighter for $8, two piece blending sponge and case set for $10, lip oil set for $8, handheld mirror for $10, Chrome topper set for $12, eyeliner pencil set for $12, seven piece lip gloss set for $15, nail polish and polish remover for $15, five piece brush set and thermos brush case for $18, lip scrub, overnight lip balm, eye sleep mask pouch set for $18, and an exclusive set for $30, which includes four nine shade palettes, faux lash set, liner pencil, lip glosses, highlighter duo, blush duo, bronzer duo. Well, that actually sounds like a good deal, that very last thing. Oh, okay, so it's what I'm showing you right here. Actually, that's a really cute little gift. That's a cute little gift for somebody. Um, I'm not gonna pick anything up. I I kind of talked about in the past, I'm just not really attracted to drugstore like collaborations a lot of the times anymore. I don't feel like, I don't know, I just don't feel like I need them in my life, but th I will say I think this is done pretty well. I think it's very cute. Looks like there's thought put into it. I don't really like a lot of the times when some brands do just like a bunch of things they already have in their line and then just like literally put a sticker on an existing packaging. But this looks like it actually has like some custom packaging. I don't know, it looks like it's well done. So I appreciate that, but nothing that I personally need. I have of course tried Profusion in the past, but it's been a long time. I bought the, um, I bought the Mean Girls collection and actually I have the mirror. I still use it all the time. It's a really nice mirror. It's really big. It's very lightweight. So, I mean, if you like the mirror in this collection, I think their mirrors are good, but their makeup has just been kind of okay for me personally, but would love to know your thoughts on Profusion. If you are a fan or if you don't really like the brand, let me know if you're interested in this collection. It says it will be available November 4th online, but some stores already have it out. So keep your eye out while you're out and about if you're interested in this. Oh, in Walgreens specifically. All right, you guys, that's it for this episode of new makeup releases. I would love to know your thoughts on anything I talked about or if there's any Anything I didn't talk about that you're excited about, please let me know down in the comments because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.